High School Broadcast. I'm Jan McInturf. And no, I'm Evan McInturf. Dad, do you have any feeling about tonight's game? I do. With a big time sports broadcast, you can't go wrong. Most refs make the wrong calls, and you know about making the call, right? I do. Anyone who's in the market to buy or sell a home can make the call to McInturf Realty. And our team works hard to make it easy and rewarding. Dad, don't forget the mobile app. Hey, you're right. When you download the McInturf Realty mobile app, you can search for homes, contact agents, browse photos, and get current information on properties. And McInturfRealty.net is another great place to start. You're right, Evan. On behalf of the entire McInturf Realty team, Evan and I welcome you to tonight's Big Time Sports High School Broadcast. And now, here's your Big Time Sports Broadcast crew. Good evening and welcome to High School Football on Big Time Sports. I'm Matt Ritzer with Bruce Witter and Ron Hurst. And tonight, for the 111th time, Dover and New Philly will do battle on the football field. Both teams coming into the contest 7-2 and two on the year and eyeing the playoffs next week. And Bruce shapes up as a great matchup. You have a very balanced New Philly attack against that spread Dover attack. Yeah, you know, I, I thought about this all week, and I kept thinking, you know, the one guy came up with the comment, you know, offense sells tickets, defense wins championships. And I'm not saying somebody's got to step up and shut somebody out tonight, but I think the team that comes up with some crucial stops on defense or some big turnovers is going to win this football game. Well, certainly both teams are capable of putting the points on the board. And, Ron, you talk about defense. Both teams have pitched some shutouts this year as well. Uh, no question. Uh, Philly, particular coming in, the last four games have given up uh, like uh, 30 points in the, in the last four games where they've, they've scored about uh, 70 or 80. So, you know, their defense has played pretty well. The last, they're co coming off of uh, a six-game winning streak, and they haven't lost. Uh, the, the last time they lost was against Perry, and uh, you know what Perry has done uh, since. So, so their expectations are pretty high coming into the game. New Philly won last year, but it's been since the 1990-91 seasons that Philly has won two in a row. Can they do that again? We'll find out pretty soon. We'll talk to the head coaches on the McIntyre pregame show coming up right after this on Big Time Sports. When buying or selling a home, the first thing is to make the call. Our marketing plan speaks for itself. We get results with over 700 sales last year. So, Molly and Colton, have you made a decision yet? Yes, we have. I don't know, Molly. That's a lot of money. It's the one I want. Buying a home Sign is one of the biggest decisions you'll ever make. We take that seriously. One of every four homes sold is listed by McInturf Realty. Make the call to McInturf Realty, the sign that sells. Hello, this is Tom O'Donnell from Park Village Healthcare. Over the past several years, we've become a trusted provider of rehabilitation services following surgery or a brief hospital stay. Jane Snader, our Director of Rehabilitation and Therapy Services, has been working in this area since 1984 and has brought her knowledge and experience exclusively to Park Village. Jane leads our physical, occupational, and speech therapy teams that are respected for promoting evidence-based rehabilitation and therapy programs. These programs emphasize maximizing the resident's potential and promotes a timely and safe return home. If you are looking for short-term rehabilitation, please visit us. Tour our rehabilitation wing dedicated to providing our clients quiet, private accommodations. Meet Jane Snader and explore a rehabilitation experience that will get you back on your feet again. Park Village, where local therapists are building local relationships. We're located at 1525 Crater Avenue in Dover. At Rent to Own, you'll find nice people helping you rent to own furniture, rent to own appliances, rent to own electronics, and rent to own computers. We've got nice stuff that nice people like you need. Check out our great rental prices. You'll never own any cheaper. And be sure to look for our monthly specials on needed items for your home. We have great deals on our huge selection of products. At Rent to Own, we'll help you make your next purchase a whole lot easier. Stop in today. Are things improving in Tuscarawas County? Yes, they are. 
This is Kerry Metzger, your county commissioner. Our local economy is better. We have one of the lowest unemployment rates in Ohio, but we've got so much more to do. My opponent has made lots of big, costly promises and false attacks, but my focus has been on protecting your tax dollars, getting more jobs here, and being fiscally conservative. There is no need to take a risk when my proven record of performance makes the difference. Look at my three-point Metzger economic action plan to see what I want to do for the future. With your vote for Metzger, I pledge 100% of my efforts for more jobs and protecting your tax dollars. Let's work together to make this an even better community to live, work, and raise a family. Thank you for your support and confidence. This is paid for by Citizens for Metzger to encourage your vote for County Commissioner Kerry Metzger. With the uh, big time sports featured game of the week, Dover New Philly now with Quaker head coach Matt Dennison. And boy, six game winning streak coming into this one. You guys are on a roll, and it looks like playing well offensively and defensively. Yeah, you know, we've, we've gotten better and better as the year's gone on, and, uh, you know, a lot of consistency out of our play. So, you know, we just got to continue to do that tonight. Dover runs that five wide. How do you keep that under control? Well, you just do what you do. You know, you don't uh, reinvent the wheel. You know, we've been going against it a lot, and a lot of people do that. That's in that's in everybody's playbook now. So, you know, that that's something you got to prepare for all all off season. So, you know, we again, we just do what we do and and, and play hard. You guys have had a very balanced attack offensively. How important has that been for you this year? You know, balance is, is the key to a lot of success. You know, if you can if you can keep a defense off balance and and what that does, it makes them play very base. And that's a, you know that that's the, the goal of being balanced and that's what we want to do. If you boiled it down to one thing tonight, what are you it's gonna have to happen for you? Well, it's a championship football game. It always ends up at the guys in the trenches, you know. It, it, these things are won and lost at the line of scrimmage. Doesn't matter what kind of offense, what kind of defense, it's won with the big guys. Wish you good luck. Thanks. That's Matt Dennison, head coach of the Quakers. We'll be back with more right after this on Big Time Sports. Omni Orthopedics is proud to announce their award-winning team now includes 16 of the very best doctors in their field. Since 1996, Omni Orthopedics has helped patients in Stark and Tuscarawas counties with issues involving the foot and ankle, hand and upper extremity, joint, neck, spine, trauma, and sports medicine with the finest physicians, staff, and medical equipment available. To learn more about Omni Orthopedics' world-class care, medical complex, or for contact information, visit online at omniortho.com. Fuel economy, safety, and a great driving experience are three reasons to come to test drive a new Toyota at Ferris Toyota. Hi, this is Pat Ferris. Lease a new 2015 Corolla for just $139 a month, or a 2014 RAV4 for just $159 a month, or choose the 51 mile per gallon 2014 Prius for just $209 a month. Toyota is also featuring 0% financing for up to 60 months on 12 different models. Ferris Toyota on the Wabash in New Philadelphia. We're called Weaver's Fine Furniture for a reason. From our handcrafted solid wood furniture to our American-made upholstered furniture, you'll see heirloom quality. Make your house a home with bedroom suites, kitchen furniture. Visit us in Sugar Creek at 7011 Old State Route 39. For directions, current specials, and more, you can find Weaver's online at weaversfurniturestore.com. Make your house a home with Weaver's Fine Furniture. Hello sports fans, Mellow Tones here for my good friends from Wallhouse Coffee. I kick it in gear every morning with fresh roasted coffee beans from Wallhouse Coffee. Can't you just smell the aroma of Wallhouse Coffee in your kitchen? Don't be shy, why not give Wallhouse a try? Wallhouse Coffee on the Dover Road in Sugar Creek. Big time coffee for big time coffee drinkers. Get a smooth ride with tires from Clum Tire Service Company on South Broadway in New Philadelphia. Visit the friendly folks at Clum Tire and they'll set you up with a set of quality tires at a price you can afford. With their years of experience, Clum will make sure your car has quality tires that fit your car or truck. Make sure your car is safe on the road with Clum Tire, 1075 South Broadway in New Philadelphia.
We're back in the McInturf pregame show, now joined by Dan Ift, head coach of the Dover Tornadoes. And, Dan, it's been a great year for your guys again uh, this season. Uh, you feel like your guys are peaking right now when you want them to? Well, we certainly hope so, Matt. I mean, I believe they are, but we're going to find out a little bit more here in a few minutes. But uh, I would tend to think that's what's happening. New Philly, a balanced attack, a 1,000-yard passer, a 1,000-yard rusher. How does that affect what you do defensively? Well, we're just going to play defense. And uh, obviously, Matt's a very balanced coach, and they've run a very balanced system for a number of years. So yeah, I think first and foremost, I think you always got to stop the run. So hopefully we're able to do that. Uh, and then if you make someone one-dimensional and throw the ball, you got a better fighting chance. But if, if they can run and throw the ball, it could be a long night. 20th time you've done this, the Dover Philly game. Feelings any different right now than they were 20 years ago going into the first one? Uh, you know, they are. I, I, I don't know exactly know how. I think uh, I think there's uh, there's less nerves. I uh, know what to expect. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe it's just the fact that I'm getting old and can't figure things out anymore. But uh, I, I think I'm more calm this week than I've been. Uh, maybe the kids put me in that mind with the, the way they practice. But uh, I, I much rather feel this way than I have the first couple of years. White helmets, whose idea was that? Just get the kids fired up. It was one of them deals that uh, throw back to the 60s, the Dick Haynes years. Thought it'd be kind of a neat thing. Uh, kids were excited. And, uh, we kind of had the unveiling on Tuesday, and it worked out pretty well for our kids. All right, wish you good luck. Thank you, Matt. That's Dan Ift, head coach of the Dover Tornadoes. We'll be back with the kickoff right after this on Big Time Sports. Senior year is full of big decisions, a career path, a college, but it starts with fantastic senior pictures to celebrate accomplishments and showcase your personality. New Philadelphia senior Charles Murray chose Mitchell Studio to tell his story. Charles wanted portraits to showcase his many interests, from sports to music. I had a few of just casual clothes, and then I had a bunch of jerseys behind me. I had my saxophone. They let me bring whatever I wanted. We took a few in the studio, and then we went to the baseball field, a soccer field, and got those pictures taken. Charles said Mitchell studio photographer Terry Barnhill made the shoot fun and offered insight while allowing Charles to be creative as well. He actually thought of a lot of new ideas or new poses, but he also let me pick my own and what I wanted to. It was easy. I like to joke around and have fun with you when you're taking your pictures. It was a lot of fun. I liked it. For more than 30 years, Terry Barnhill has helped local seniors shine with images that will stand the test of time. Call Mitchell studio today to schedule your senior session. Mitchell studio, where photography is still an art. Since 1971, Chibos has been serving homemade pasta, soups, and rolls to people from all over the area. Chibos is located in Waynesburg in the former Mohawk Movie Theater. The recipes are the same today, and the cooks still come in at 6 a.m. to roll out the dough. Recently, Chibos has added a selection of some of your favorite Italian wines to complement your dinner. We thrive on quality food, quality service at a reasonable price. Chibos is open Thursday through Sunday for lunch and dinner. What is peace of mind? Financial freedom. For most folks, financial freedom is built step by step over time. We help you build it with our savings and investment accounts like CDs, money market, and IRAs where you can sock away some money and earn interest on it too. Financial freedom is peace of mind. Let's build it together. Substantial penalties apply for early withdrawals on CDs. First National Bank of Denison, member FDIC. It's all about you. Trust is hard. Roll the film, let's see why. I'd got approved. It was a great deal for the car. I came to JD Bar Rider. The same day I left with the car. I was approved, and I've been happy ever since. JD Bar Rider is a great place to go. Whether your credit's good, bad, they'll work with anybody. I got the green light. You could get the green light at gojdb.com. JD Bar Rider. It's the way to go, go. 
And welcome back to the 111th Dover Philly game on Big Time Sports tonight. A cold, rainy night at Quaker Stadium as the 7-2 Tornadoes prepare to do battle with the 7-2 New Philadelphia Quakers. Quakers have won six in a row. New Philly and Dover has won five in a row. Time for us to take a look at our keys to the game. Brought to you by Park Village Care Center. And with the keys to the game, here's Bruce Witter. Yep. New Philly, of course, has to contain that five-wide offense of Dover. And as uh, Coach Dennison alluded to in the pregame, he says, you know, everybody's got it in their playbook now, so you practice against it, you match up athlete on athlete. Dover needs to stop Philly's running game. Philly definitely, they won the toss. They're going to take the kick. They're not going to defer. So they want to make a statement early on. And basically it might boil down to how will Philly's young kids handle this big stage. And that means sophomore quarterback Logan Bittacoff. Those are your keys to the game brought to you by Park Village Health Care Center. Time for us to take a look at the Mike Fredericks starting lineups. The new Philadelphia offense led by Logan Bittacoffer, the quarterback, a sophomore, wears number 12, is thrown for over 1,000 yards this year, and he has a 1,000-yard runner in the ground game, and Wyatt Angel wears number 25, 165-pound senior. Seniors across the front line, with the exception of Joe Delator, who is a junior, Logan Guybe, Boston Waltz are some of the favorite targets of Logan Bittacoffer. And the Dover Tornado defense, they've been pretty tough this year, giving up 283 yards per ball game, led by the inside linebacker Corey Bambeck and linebacker Alex Bowman. They are the heart and soul of that Dover D that has done quite well this season, giving up 13 to points all per ball game, and they've tossed three shutouts on the year. It'll be Digidio to kick it off for the Dover Tornadoes. It's the Dr. Kirk Guerin kickoff as the rain pours down at Quaker Stadium, but who cares? It's the Dover Philly game. Packed house. The Digidio kickoff. High end over and kick, and it is fielded at the goal line. Returned to the 19-yard line, and that is it. It'll be a little difficult to pick up those red numbers off of New Philly's black jersey. So Tyler, it's be hard Car yeah, I think it was Tyler Carter on the return. Those are tough numbers to read. The Quakers taking the ball first. And we have been impressed this year by the poise of that sophomore quarterback, Logan Bittacoffer, and that will be tested tonight in this kind of atmosphere. Bittacoffer takes the snap from center, hands it off, and a good surge by the line, and look at that. That pile moving forward to about the 28-yard line. Picked up about nine, Matt, and you can see the surge like you said. Angel on the carry. Good surge, big, big, big offensive line for New Philadelphia tonight. Jake Reidenball, the center, 235-pound senior leading that offensive line. His dad's one of the assistant coaches. Quakers send a man in motion. That's Logan Geib. On a second down and short. Give is to... Angel again, and Angel squirts through and should have the first down at the 30-yard line. It'll be a fresh set of downs for the New Philly offense on the opening series of the ball game. You can see the replay brought to you by Weaver Barnes. And that could be, you know, could be a problem tonight for both teams in shotgun formations as ball's a little slippery, so the center's going to play a big role for both teams. Again, the snap is low, but fielded cleanly. Again, it is Angel straight up the gut, and Angel to about the 32-yard line. Short pickup for Wyatt Angel, 165-pound senior running back. Quakers lost to the opening ball game of the year to Canton Central Catholic, then lost an early ball game to Perry. And nobody was expecting a whole lot from this team after all the 
graduation losses from a year ago, but they turned things around and won six in a row. Now stand at seven and two and a shot to make the playoffs again. Bittekoffer wants to throw for the first time, and he rifles it over the middle, and it's incomplete. The ball intended for Logan Geib on a quick slant. Yeah, and that was, that was a good pass. It was low, a little, little bit low. We can see it here, but it's right on the money, right where he should have, receiver should have caught it. So Third down now, and about nine for the Quakers. Dover's bringing in a whole bunch of subs. On defense, expecting the pass. Quakers spread out the formation. Right receiver to the right, two split to the left. Now manned in motion is Jeff Verdon. And Bittekoffer wants to throw. He steps up into the pocket under pressure and is sacked. <laughs> Leading the charge defensively for the Dover Tornadoes on the Mount Hope defensive play was Jordan Dowdy. You can see him coming off the edge and get good pressure, good coverage downfield, big sack, and going to force New Philadelphia into a punt situation. Bittekoffer to punt. Corey Contini to receive. So the Quakers pick up one first down and then forced to punt the ball away. Should have real good field position. High punt by Bittekoffer. Continue will let it bounce. Takes a Quaker roll on the turf down to about the 32-yard line. First down and 10 of four. The Dover Tornadoes. And offensively for the Dover Tornadoes, led by Merrick Mamarella, the senior quarterback. 1,900 yards passing this year. His top receiver is Corey Contini, a 170-pound senior speedster. Austin Laughlin. Shevin Javarzik also targets along with Evan Snyder. Jake Suddoth is the center out of the gun. And over in the spread set. They'll use that about 90% of the times. Three wide receivers to the left, two to the right. And this is Mamarella to throw. Quick screen over the middle to Snyder. He's got it at the 40. And a Snyder with a flag down out to about the 42-43 yard line where he's ridden down by Christian Raber. Or, excuse me, ridden down by uh, Blake Bolton. Area of holding here, Matt, I think. It is. Holding against Dover. Big play is going to come back. They had a first down on that. Little inside jailbreak screen, and it's going to come back and put him in long yardage. Still stay first down, though. It'll be about first down and eight. The new Philadelphia defense that has been outstanding this year. Blake Burgess, Boston Waltz, the linebackers, leading tacklers on the year, along with Blake Bolin. Blake Burgess, Boston Waltz across the middle of that defense. First down and about eight. Mamarella to throw. Rifles it over the middle. Snyder's got it again, and Snyder's drilled at the 49-yard line, but not before he has a first down. You can see a good, good blocking by the offensive line, Matt. Lots of time to throw. Puts it right on the money to Snyder. Found that hole on the seam in the middle of the field. Logan Geib with a big hit to, to end the play. So it's first down and 10 at midfield for the Tornadoes. Quakers won in triple overtime last year. As a matter of fact, the last two times New Philly has beaten Dover, it's been in overtime. The Dover has won 17 of the last 19 games. Back on the draw, Mamarella picks up about eight yards. Bowling in on the stop for the Quaker defense. It's a called quarterback draw. You can see he looks, fakes, pulls it down. Good blocking by the offensive line. Big hole. Gets into the second tier and picks up about seven yards. As Ron Hurst mentioned in our pregame, the new Philly defense has given up only 23 points in the last four ball games. 
Mamarelic to throw. Fires it downfield. Snyder wide open. Snyder to the 10 yard line. First down and goal to go. Quakers. Or Dover. And it was Kyle Cunningham making the tackle. He bit on that little screen pass that time, and Snyder ran right by the cornerback. They faked the pass to Corey Contini. And that fake broke Snyder open. First down and goal to go from the eight yard line now. And it is Contini to take the snap from center. And Contini sweeping the left side, trying to turn the corner. Contini spins into the end zone, touchdown Dover. That was just speed and athletic ability there, Matt. He got to the corner with his speed, made a little spin move and into the end zone. You'll see it here. Great picture by our cameraman. You see his speed gets him outside on the corner. And now a little move right here, that athletic ability, and he's into the end zone. Dover scores first. Digidio on to kick the extra point, and he's been almost automatic this year. 40 out of 42 on the extra point tries, and he makes it again. Dover seven. New Philadelphia zero, and the Tornadoes strike first as uh, they score on their very first possession of the ball game. In downtown Dover, next to the post office, you'll find Blossoms Flowers, a family-owned business for 16 years, a full-service florist featuring fresh flowers daily. A huge selection of green plants as well. Always a favorite for homecoming or any other special event. They'll deliver locally as well as through FTD anywhere. Blossoms Flowers in downtown Dover. See them today. 7-0, the Dover Tornadoes out in front. And you look at uh, Dover this year. They have outscored their opponents in the first quarter, 145 to 10. Yeah. Big big drive there as uh, Coach Hurst alluded. Five plays, 68 yards, Mamarella three for three, Matt. The Gideo to kick off for the second time tonight. And it is a touchback. All right, the Quakers will go to work offensively at the 20. The yard line. So you can see Stay the, with uh, big time sports. Yep. You see the rain coming oh, down yeah. on the screen. It's coming it's raining down. Hard now. Not much wind, but that rain is coming down. Going to make him go the length of the field. That's a, that's a big weapon in high school. If you have a kicker that kick the ball into the end zone for a touchback and forces a team to start on their own 20 yard line. So the Quakers will go back to work offensively for the second time tonight. Handoff is to Wyatt Angel, and Angel stopped right at the line of scrimmage. And among those getting him for the Dover Tornadoes was Corey Bambeck. You see a low snap again. I mean, that's, that could cause some trouble for the Quakers tonight if they don't get that snap under control coming back. But Dover doing a good job on defense. Corey Bambeck, 75 total tackles on the year to lead to the uh, Dover defense. Second down and 10 for the Quakers. Quakers shift to a spread formation and Bittekoffer wants to throw and it is incomplete. That was just a little comebacker and it looked like the pass may have slipped a little bit. Bittekoffer not a good grip on the ball. A little hitch pattern out here. Coming right at us. You can see it's just low and away. It's actually a good place to make the catch, but didn't connect. And, uh, you know, you can see Dover jumping around on defense, giving, trying to give this sophomore a little bit different look and some different defensive moves. Coming into tonight, Dover ranked third in a Region 9, Division 3. The new Philadelphia Quakers in a more precarious playoff position. 
They could make it tonight if they lost, but they really need to win. Bittekoffer on a screen, and it is broken up, incomplete. Almost picked off there by coming right Amani. at us. You can see him middle screen. Man, the defense for Dover standing right in the middle. It was like they were in the huddle and knew what was coming. Big three and out for Dover. You're going to get great field position again, Matt. Not allowing New Philly to get into any kind of rhythm offensively. Corey Contini ready to receive the punt. Bit of coffer, boots it away. Contini fields it at the 47. Contini dances around and will be dropped at the 49-yard line. And Dover will have very good field position to begin this possession. Dover enters tonight third in their region in the playoffs. The new Philadelphia Quakers are ninth. A big walnut Sunbury. Just ahead of them in eighth place in the region. So the Quakers really need a victory to uh, assure themselves of a playoff spot. They could back in if a lot of things go right for them if they don't win tonight, but it'll be tough. Now you want to take care of your own business. You don't want somebody else to do it for you. First down and 10 for the Dover Tornadoes. First quarter, Dover on top. And the Tornadoes have Contini in motion. He takes the pitch. He breaks it loose to the 45 of the 40, and Contini picks up first down a yardage. And making the tackle for the new Philadelphia Quakers was Tyler Carter. He might have broken that all the way. Yeah, he sees good job out here. Gets some good blocks by his wide receivers. He sets them up very well. Made it look like he was going to try to run to the sidelines, cut, up, cut it up inside for a first down. Yeah, another first and ten for the Tornadoes. The Dover Tornadoes with kind of a retro look tonight with white helmets. Pass to Contini. Contini weaving his way down the sideline. Contini still loose. Contini inside of the 20-yard line. And another fine run by Corey Contini after the catch. Blake Burwell making the tackle. And you see it right here. It's just a little hitch screen pass. Good blocking out here on the edge. Gets good block. A little right here, but he makes a nice cut inside. Gets downfield, picks up big yardage. Uh, the Dover Tornadoes with good field position here in the first quarter, and so far they've been taking advantage of it. They've scored once. They're driving now. Mamorella taking the snap from center. Tosses it to Contini, and Contini will be stopped for a short gain that time as he's surrounded by black-shirted Quakers. The defensive charge led by Micah Brothers. Tried the same play again, Matt. Uh, that jailbreak screen where they bring all the linemen out. Contini steps back a couple yards. Didn't quite pick up as much as the first time, but still in good position. Second down and 10. First time the Tornadoes have faced a second or a third down and long. Dover using some signs on the sideline to help signal in the plays. Manarella fakes, throws over the middle. What a catch by Contini at the one-yard line. Holy mackerel, did he go high to stab that one out of the air. And you'll see it here. He not only has to go high, he's got to turn back a little bit right there and catch it. Wet football in the air. What a great catch. First down and goal to go for the Dover Tornadoes. Now sometimes in this situation, Dover will go to a power package, but they're still in the spread. They give the ball, though, up the middle for no gain to Andrew Hirschberger. 
It'll be second down and goal to go for the Tornadoes. You'll see it on the replay. Just straight ahead, power up the middle. New Philadelphia gets good penetration. Throws him for a yard or two loss. Looked like number 36 for Blake Burgess for the Quakers. So now it's second down and goal to go from the three-yard line for the Dover Tornadoes. Again, decked out all in white tonight. Out of a 1960s look. Hand off to Hirschberger. Hirschberger plows ahead this time, but just shy of the goal line. It'll be third down and goal to go. Power again, right off tackle. Both the up backs up in the hole. Block it solid. Gets down in about the one. He's going to bring up third and one. Tornadoes. On third down. Handoff, Hirschberger, he's in, touchdown. Just Get it on the replay. Just straight on, power on power, kick out block by the one, the right half back, the left half back leads up in the hole on the ISO and you're into the end zone, two score lead. Gidio on to attempt the extra point kick for the Dover Tornadoes who have dominated the early going here in the 111th Dover New Philly game. Oh, snap from center was bobbled. Mamarelli got it down. The Gidio did a little stutter step and still kicked it through. Dover 14 and New Philadelphia nothing here in the first quarter of play. Brick House Beverage, close to you at 130 East 2nd Street in Dover at the corner of Race and at 2nd Street, conveniently located just a block off of Worcester Avenue. One-stop shop for all your pregame snacks and refreshments. Coolers are extra cold for all your beverage needs. Ohio Lottery sold at the Brick House Beverage drive-thru. Locally owned and operated at the corner of Race and 2nd Street in Dover. It's wet outside, and the fans still enjoying the ball game on the Dental Dover Dental Group fan camp. And a lot of fans here, Matt. There's not many empty seats here on a rainy, cool, miserable night. Gidio to kick the ball away. High end over end. Fielded at the six. And a nice return for the Quakers. Out to the 30 yard line. I think that was Carter again on the return. Yeah. You see, pretty good little speed, quickness, makes a nice cut, some good blocking. Gets them out past right, right around their own 30-yard line, a little better operating position. Last play, last series, Matt, seven plays, 51 yards for uh, Dover on that scoring drive. Two impressive drives by the Dover Tornadoes thus far tonight. They've got the two touchdown lead. Bittekoffer will <clears throat> hand it off and Bittekoffer had trouble getting the snap from center, and by the time he handed it off, there is no room for Carter at all. Yeah, mishandled the ball, throws the timing off, has no chance now. Dover's defense just swarms him, brings him down for a one-yard loss. Mentioned the Quakers won last year. That broken Dover eight-game win streak in this series. Bittekoffer to throw. He's got Waltz at midfield. First down, and the Quakers down to the 41-yard line. Boston Waltz hauling in the pass. Yeah, just what the Quakers needed there. 
Right on the money. Good job by Bittekoffer. Three-step drop. Good throw. Right on the money. Hits Waltz right on the seam of that zone defense. Big pickup for the Quakers. Quakers in Dover territory for the first time tonight. It's first and 10 at the 41. Bettikoffer rolling to the right, steps, throws, man open, incomplete the pass a little bit behind him. And it'll be second down and 10 out of four of the Quakers. Tried to roll him out of the pocket that time, giving him a little more time. Had him, had him open, just threw behind him a little bit. Dover had won eight in a row, including a playoff game prior to New Philly's win last year. In 2004, New Philly won in overtime, and before that, Dover had won nine in a row. So the Tornadoes have dominated this series in the last couple of decades. Handoff, Angel, Angel, zipping his way to the 31-yard line, close to a first down. We'll see where they spot it. I think he's going to be just shy. Be third down, about two. You can see Dover, they blitzed and he ran right by it. Had him in the backfield in a perfect defense. Picked up good game, third and one, long one. Quakers trying to pick up the tempo here. Oh, handoff up the middle and to be stopped for a loss. It's going to be fourth down now. Tornadoes were ready for that, Angel Carey. Pushes the ball back to the 34-yard line. It just wasn't one guy, one white jersey in there, Matt. It was two, three, or four standing uh, in the backfield waiting on him. Huge play for the Quakers here early. Fourth down and about three from the 34-yard line. We're in the first quarter. The Tornadoes up by a couple of scores. Bittekoffer, the sophomore quarterback, will throw the football. It's high, incomplete, and... Dover will take over on down. So the Quakers get the one big play to waltz to get into Dover territory, but unable to sustain the drive. Man-to-man -man defense for the Quakers. You see the, the ball sailed on him. He might have had him open. Uh, there was good coverage, but the ball sailed a little bit. Dover takes over. The Dover Tornadoes first down and 10 came into this game very hot outscoring their last three opponents 148 to 13. Beating Cambridge, Coshocton, and Marietta the last three weeks. Contini in motion, takes the quick pitch. Contini sweeping the right side. Contini to the 40 yard line. Bring up second down for the Dover Tornadoes. Nice little run play, it's like a little Almost like a pass, a little forward pass in case it, in case he happened to drop it, might be called incomplete. Logan Hurst made the tackle. Yeah, what do you call that, a pass? He pitched it forward, yeah, that's a forward pass. And they will let the clock wind down, and that is the end of the first quarter play. We played one at Woody Hayes Quaker Stadium. Dover 14, New Philadelphia, nothing on big time sports. Would you like a zero monthly premium plan that includes prescription coverage and silver sneakers? Then a local Medicare Advantage plan from the Health Plan is right for you. For information on Health Plan Medicare Advantage plans, call 1-877-236-2290. Hours of operation are 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days a week. You must continue to pay your Medicare Part B premiums. The Health Plan, here for you, in your hometown since 1979. Dumont Sporting Goods has been outfitting winning teams since 1977. Put Doug Clark and his experienced staff to work for your team. See them for school jackets, silk screening, and embroidery. Dumont's is especially proud to be your exclusive area Russell Athletic Team Specialist. All of the name brands you love, close to home. That's Dumont's Sporting Goods on Tuscross Avenue in downtown Dover. Team Specialist since 1977. 
Woods Tall Timber Resort is a vacation that's close to home. The Seven Acre Lake is the focal point of the resort with camping May through October. Splash away your summer days at the beach and in the fall enjoy brilliant colors from your own private cottage. Whether you enjoy primitive camping or the amenities of home, Woods Tall Timber Resort has it all. Luxurious cottages feature equipped kitchens, a full bathroom, and room for eight guests. The resort includes a clubhouse, concession stand, bait shop, shower house, and laundromat. And the recreation never ends. Enjoy summer fun on water slides, inflatable trampolines, paddle boats, and electric boats. Plus house rentals, fishing, game room, playground, woodpecker par 3 golf, and miniature golf. And of course, hiking trails. And now Woods Tall Timber Resort has zip lines. It's the best value around for this exciting way to fly. Rides start at just $15. Small zips and kitty zips are also available. And the Lake House Lodge can accommodate your party, reception, reunion, or event. Check out all of the fun online at woodstalltimberlake.com. Tell me, are you confident in your financial game plan? I'm Matt Ferris, president of Ferris Financial. If you're like most people, you've probably spent a lot of time talking about getting your financial affairs in order, but for some reason, the game plan has never come together. At Ferris Financial, we're here to help you solidify your personal, business, and estate planning goals so we can build a winning game plan together and help you achieve peace of mind. Call us at 330-321-1413. Ferris Financial, helping you plan, protect, and prosper. Dover dominating the first quarter of play on your Haas Body Shop quarter recap, Bruce Witter. Yeah, like you said, Dover dominating. Two uh, scoring drives of around 50 yards uh, down the field. Great field position, and I think the domination in the key so far has been Dover's defense. They have kept the field position and given Dover's offense great field position. And they've got it right now on their own 40-yard line, looking at second down and short. Hershberger in the backfield with Mamarella. Hershberger will get the handoff. He bursts up the middle into Quaker territory into the 45-yard line. Boston Waltz on the tackle, but Alex Bowman, I keep saying Hershberger, it's Bowman. On the carry for the Dover Tornadoes, he had the touchdown earlier, Alex Bowman. It's like a zone read play, Matt, right up the middle of the field. Block it solid, kick out with one of the pulling guards, and good hole. And it is first down and 10. That's Bowman in the backfield. And the handoff goes to Bowman, and Bowman wrapped up and thrown down right of the line of scrimmage that time. and. On the stop for the new Philadelphia Quakers was Blake Burrell. Tried to run the same play again, that little read zone read play. Quakers do a good job of stacking it up this time. Dover, 14-point lead like this. They're going to burn some clock. They don't have to, you know, get in the five wide and throw it all the time, particularly uh, with Bowman running the football. They spread it out now, go back to the empty backfield on suck it down to nine. Mamrick, Merrick, Mamarella throws. It's caught to the 40, to the 38 yard line, and a nice catch and a run by Shevin Javarsa. Late flag, Matt. In the neighborhood where you would expect Holden to be the call. Yes, it is. <clears throat> now, this kind of happened to Dover earlier. The hold happened about 12 yards downfield, so you bring it back and you still have positive yardage. They lost a little bit here. It'll push it back to the 49-yard uh, line. Dover will be looking at second down at about three. Or second down at about 13, I should say. Three split to the right, two to the left, and the Dover spread. Second quarter action from Rainy Quaker Stadium. Mamarella to throw. Looking for Contini. Sails out of bounds incomplete. Contini guarded by Guybe and Cunningham. Going to come right at you here to play. Good protection. A lot of time to throw. Just uh, good coverage downfield. He threw it in the right place. Threw it where only the receiver could catch it if it was going to stay in bounds. Some good camera worker there by Mr. Simmel. 
Third and 13 for the Tornadoes. They have not looked at third and long very often tonight. And now the whistles blow and Dover is going to take a timeout on the third and long situation. Give us a chance to tell you about Lisa Hoy State Farm Insurance, providing insurance and financial services. When you are ready, the Lisa Hoy Agency is here to help you with your insurance and financial needs. Our agency has a variety of products and services that can help meet all your needs and your budget. Give us a call. Retirement planning, life insurance, auto insurance, banking services, health insurance, fire insurance, business insurance, investments. They do it all at the Lisa Hoy Agency on 4th Street, Northwest in New Philadelphia. Third and long for the Dover Tornadoes. They have converted on about 50% of their third down situations this year. Early in the second quarter, Dover on top, 14 to nothing. Merrick Mamarella looks to throw. Steps up, is sacked. Back of the 47-yard line and a fine defensive play by Logan Ford. Mount Hope defense replay. Little twist there by the Quakers up front. Ford gets off his block right there. Makes a good, good play. Looked like uh, Mamarello is going to break into the open, pick up some good yards. Kyle Abel will punt for the first time tonight. And Carter is deep for the Quakers. First defensive stop of the game for the Quaker D. And Abel gets the punt away. And it'll skip past Carter. And take a right-hand roll to the five-yard line. That thing looked like it was headed to the end zone and then made a 90-degree turn on the roll. Yeah, it's tough tonight for those guys back uh, fielding those punts. As wet as it is, looking up into the rain and the lights. And uh, just, you know, it's very difficult to field those. He let it bounce on this turf. And like you said, it looked like it was going into the end zone. Took a left turn there and went dead on the five. First down and 10 for the Quakers. Pinned deep in their own territory. Bittekoffer out of the gun. Hands it off to Angel. Angel battles his way just to get back to the line of scrimmage. They pretty much bottled up this Quaker uh, offense tonight except for that one long pass play. Dover's defensive line and linebackers have done a really, really nice job so far in this game. Picked up a couple of feet. Second down and nine. Philly's got to try to, you know, get this out of here and at least get a couple of first downs so they can uh, try to change field position a little bit. Bit of coffer to throw from the end zone. Fires, got a man open, and it is incomplete. He couldn't hang on. Logan Guy for the intended receiver. It'll be third down now. Good, good play call. I mean, it's putting a lot of confidence in a sophomore quarterback. He puts it right on the money, right on the seam, Matt. Just couldn't quite haul it in. Going to bring up a big third down play again. Guy, a pretty good receiver. 31 catches on the year for 436 yards, seven touchdowns. Third down and nine for the Quakers. Bit of coffer again to throw. Over the middle. It is incomplete, just out of the reach of the intended receiver. Boston Waltz, another favorite target, and it'll be fourth down. You can see it. They're really, Quakers really working on these seams in this 
Dover zone, and they've had people open quite a few times. Yes, they have. Sooner or later, you'd think they're going to start make those connections because they have had people open. Yep. Once again, Dover going to get great field position on New Philly's side of the field. It'll be Bittacoffer to punt from the end zone. Contini ready to receive the kick. Contini will take it at the 38-yard line. Heads for the far sideline. Breaks a tackle. Turns to the corner. Contini cuts against the grain. Touchdown! That's what happens right there, Matt. Great field. You know, they went for the return. This is a return. They're not going for the block. You can see it right here on the big play replay. They're blocking solid. They're not... They want to get a return, and that's what Contini gave them. He's going to get a couple of nice blocks on the Domino's big play replay out here on the edge. That speed gets him to the corner. You'll see one block right out, right there. And now he's down the sidelines. Another block makes a nice cut untouched into the end zone. Digidio to kick the extra point. It's up, and it is good. And the Dover Tornadoes has scored on a Corey Contini run, an Alex Bowman run, and now a Corey Contini punt return, and they lead 21 to nothing with 8.23 to play in quarter number two at Quaker Stadium. b &T Tire service located at 602 East High in New Philadelphia, across the street from Bud and Foodies. Mitchell and Cooper and General Tires for your car or truck. Great deals, free oil change with a four tire purchase. They do car detailing starting at 75 bucks. B and T Tire Service, East High Avenue in New Philadelphia. Now the Dover Tornadoes dominating in the first half of play. The Gideo to kick off. It is Carter from the 12. Carter to the 20. Carter loose to the 30. Breaks a tackle to the 40. Gets away again to the 48 yard line. Finally written down there by Drew Nolan, and it is first down and 10, and the Quakers have some of the best field position they've seen tonight. Good, good play right here. Gets out to the, uh, right about the Quaker 49-yard line. They've had two big plays, one on special teams and one on a pass play, and that's been pretty much the entire Quaker offense so far tonight. They gotta put points on the board here, Matt. I mean, it's a must now. Now, the Dover offense gets a lot of headlines, but their D plays pretty well, too. Wyatt Angel sweeps off the left side. Angel picks up about three, maybe four. And the tackle made by Jake Armstrong, and it will be second down now. About six yards to go for the new Philadelphia Quakers. <clears throat> our main man Dean Dean said you know the snaps have been low and what that does is it throws your timing off in your offense because the quarterback's kind of fumbling around trying to get the ball back up to his chest where he can operate so they need to get these snaps straightened out and off goes to Angel straight up to the middle big hole Angel he gets to about the 35 yard line and the tackle made by Evan Snyder for the Dover Tornadoes. Good snap of that time. Clean handoff. Yep. Good hole that time. Broke into the secondary. And like I, like I said, Matt, I think New Philadelphia has to put seven on the board here in this drive down with only seven minutes left in the second quarter. From the gun, Bittacoffer fakes the handoff, throws to the far sideline. It's completed. I think that's Boston Waltz down to about the 
yard line where it will be another first down for the Quakers. And the Quakers suddenly moving the football now here in quarter number two. Good snap, good fake. I've been impressed with Bittacoffer. He stood right in there, put some, you know, thrown some good passes. He's had a number of drops, and uh, so far the sophomore has equated himself very well. He'll give it to Angel. Angel is wrapped up as he hit the line of scrimmage and making the tackle for the Dover Tornado defense was Jason Kinnett. A little zone replay that time, pull the guard, got jammed up, good penetration, blew the play up by Dover, gonna put him, put him in uh, second and 10, second and 11 almost. Guide in motion. Bedekoffer rolls right, looks left. It's Waltz on the far sideline, breaks the tackle, drops the ball. There's a scramble for it, and who's got it? It will be Quaker football. Let's look at the replay here. Good job. Bedekoffer, they roll the pocket right, throws back, tight end screen to Boston Walsh. Good blocks down there. Somebody's going to scoot right by number 12 right there. The ball squirts out. And yeah, it looks like he got back on it. Smothered it with his body. He didn't necessarily have it wrapped up around his arms, but he smothered it. And the Quakers retain possession. Another low snap. The handoff to Angel. Angel off to the left side. Angel. Loose to around the five-yard line, and the Quakers continue to drive. You can see, like you said, low snap, but he was able to handle it, pick it up. Good blocking by the offensive line. It's up inside, picks up about five or six. Second down and goal to go from the four-yard line now for the new Philadelphia Quakers, trying to put points on the board for the first time tonight. Power set, handoff. Oh, great defensive play. Number 54 for Dover, right? Corey Bamba. Man, is he standing right in the hole waiting for it. There it is, power eye right. He shoots the gap. Man, that's form tackle at its finest right there. Make a film of that to teach tackling, great job. Now you're looking at third down and goal to go from the eight yard box. Yeah, lost about four on that great defensive play there uh, that time by uh, Corey Bambeck. Betty Coffer looks to throw into the end zone. Incomplete. Fourth down and goal to go. Guy was for the target. Going to throw it coming right at you. Going to throw it right into the picture screen here, right into the camera. Kind of floater. Defensively, yep, I could have called interference on that play, but they didn't. Caleb Scepter with a close defense played the receiver and not the ball. And you're not supposed to do it that way. No yellow hanky on the field, so... Big play here for New Philadelphia. Huge, huge play for them. Fourth down, goal to go from the eight yard line. Bettecoffer again, the pass incomplete. Little rub play down on the goal line. Inside receiver goes outside, outside receiver comes inside. They try to rub off of each other. Everybody runs it. And that well is, defended. That's the second time tonight that the Quakers have failed to convert on fourth down deep in Dover territory. So the Dover offense takes over with their worst field position over the night, but they'll take it because they just stopped New Philly with no points. 426 to play here in the half. And on the keeper, 
This is Corey Snyder, or excuse me, uh, Corey Contini, and he gets it out to about the 12-yard uh, line. Out of the Wildcat formation, little little fake read play. It's a it's a run call for uh, Contini. He picks up some yardage, tries to get him a little running room out here. He'll stay with this formation, Matt. Contini and Bowman in the backfield. And Bowman will get the handoff for this time, and Bowman is smothered at the five-yard line. I think New Philadelphia must have been in their uh, huddle. To, they had that one scoped out. There was three or four people right on top of it. I think they knew exactly what to expect. Number nine for New Philadelphia, Jeff Verdon, came untouched right up through the middle. So now it's third down and 12 for Dover from the six-yard line. Philly gets a stop here. They got plenty of time. They can get very good field position off the punt. Now the officials stop the clock for just a moment. And Verdon has to come off because of the helmet problem, I think. Clock moving, 3-10 to play. Third down and long they're gonna for the burn, Dover Tornadoes. They're going to burn clock down to the play clock. Down to the five-second mark, four-second. Looks like they'll they call, call a timeout. Time. Yep. Time out, Dover, second charge, time out so the Tornadoes burn some clock, take a timeout before... Running a third down and 12 play. Talking about the playoffs earlier, Dover third in the region and New Philly ninth in the region. Division three, both of these teams in Division three will be playing on Friday nights in the playoffs. So. One, if not both of these teams, will be playing again next Friday night. Playoff pairings will be announced Sunday by the OHSAA, but there's plenty of websites that will tell you what the pairings are with a great deal of accuracy before Sunday afternoon, and the official announcement is made yeah. by the OHSAA. Yeah, they, they've all those websites have already moved over up into the number two spot because Granville lost last night, so they're right on top of all that stuff. It's third down and 12 for the Tornadoes. It is Mamarella at quarterback. Wants to run a quarterback draw. Has running room. Breaks loose. Got the first down and more. Out to the 23-yard line. Great play call. That's a, just a called quarterback draw. Takes two steps back down the field. Great run here by Mamarelli. Makes a couple cuts to make sure he gets the first down. Good blocking downfield. They've got plenty of time, Matt, to move it down the field now. Micah Crothers finally made the tackle, but it's first down and 10 for Dover. Mamarella ready to take the snap from center. Has Bowman in the backfield. Will fake the handoff to Bowman and will take off with it to the 40-yard line. That's that replay this time. Puts it in Bowman's gut. They've been giving it to him all along. He pulls it out and around the right side. Good speed. Gets on the edge. Carter picks, makes picks the up tackle. big yardage. Carter on the tackle. Another first down for the Tornadoes. 2-16 to play here in the first half of play. Still have one timeout left. Contini in motion. He gets the pitch. Contini trying to turn the corner. Steps out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Good job of killing the clock by stepping out of bounds. You can see it's that little pitch pass. That's not completed. If he fumbles that, I believe that's they'll call that an incomplete pass as it's gone forward. But he steps out of bounds, kills the clock. 
Second down, about five yards to go for the Tornadoes. Two wide receivers each way. For Dover. Bowman shifts in the backfield. He takes the handoff from Amarella. Bowman battles ahead into Quaker territory. Morrell, Dover's going to have Morrell to made the tackle. Step up and start uh, moving a little quicker. It's down to one minute and 30 seconds. They have real good field position. Third down. A short two to go. Senior Merrick, Mamarella, takes the snap straight ahead. He's got the first down to the 45-yard line. Clock will stop for a moment to move the chains. Then they wind it up again. Down to a minute 12 to play in the half. 21-0 Tornadoes. Dover back up to the line of scrimmage. But not in a big hurry. At the end of the game, we'll be picking our Manor Restaurant player of the game. Coming up shortly, the first National Bank halftime show. Mamarella on a screenplay to Contini. Contini to the 40, and Contini darts ahead for another first down to about the 31-yard line. Down to 39 seconds to play. Just a little screen, a screen to the outside. Yep, jailbreak screen. You see the linemen let their their men through. And Contini, nice pick, low pass, picks up another first down. They got to start moving. They got to, you know, this clock's running down quick. Mamarella dancing around, looking down the field. Still looking, and a fires incomplete. Mamarelli doing a good job, scrambling, keeping that play alive, and Corey Contini doing a good job of coming back for the ball and continuing to move and try to get open. The only problem with this is it killed a lot of clock. Now they, the clock they, has stopped now with 18 seconds to play. They let a lot of time run off this clock without uh, doing a lot. It is second down and 10 from the 32-yard line. 18 seconds to play in the half. Mamarella fires over the middle. Contini breaks a tackle, sidesteps another one, breaks loose. Contini to the outside, goes out of bounds. In first down yardage territory inside the 20-yard line. And that's a real heads-up play by Corey Contini. This is a middle screen. You can see him coming right into the middle of the picture. Trying to look upfield, breaks a couple tackles. Now he knows he's got to get to the sideline. He does a great job of picking up yardage. Looks for the sideline, gets out of bounds. Eight seconds left. First down and 10 from the 15 yard line. They have enough time to take one shot in the end zone. and a Couple of the shots maybe, well, or one shot in the, the field three. goal. Yep. Yep. It is Mamarella lobbing it into the end zone. Is it caught? Yes! Jump wow! Up. Great Jump. catch in the end zone by Austin Laughlin. You see the jump ball, it's coming right at you. Great camera work right here. You can see Laughlin's helmet right there. Jump ball situation. Nice catch in the end zone. Huge, huge touchdown for Dover and a killer for New Philadelphia. Twenty-seven to nothing. The Gidio will try to make it twenty-eight, and he does. Three seconds to play in quarter number two, and the Dover Tornadoes have put two TDs on the board in each of the first two quarters of play. The thing to remember about that one, Matt, is 
It was 21-0. New Philadelphia knocking on the door. Dover just went 92 yards to put another score on the board with less than three minutes to go before half. Now you, 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 you figure New Philly, they score. It's 21 to seven and they feel like they've got some life and, and they're hanging in the ball game. But now, wow, down 28 nothing, and Dover will be getting the ball to begin the second half of play. How does uh, momentum look? How quickly momentum can switch when something like this takes place? Digidio will be kicking off for the Tornadoes. Speaking of kicking, the Dover soccer team playing the regional finals tomorrow afternoon. Short kick fielded by the Quakers. That is the half. All right, we have played one half at Woody Hayes Quaker Stadium. Dover 28, New Philadelphia 0. All of our halftime activities coming up on Big Time Sports. If you or a loved one suffer from allergies, chronic sinusitis, or have trouble with your hearing, call the office of Dr. Kurt C. Guerin, ear, nose, and throat specialist. Their audio team of Krishnell and Angie Hisner will evaluate or prevent hearing loss. Dr. Guerin's team can diagnose and treat your season allergies, and they perform balloon sinoplasty. It's a new in-office procedure to treat chronic sinusitis. Don't suffer any longer. Call Dr. Guerin for an appointment today. Located in the Heritage Square Shopping Center in Dover, 330-343-9600. Home improvements make your life easier and add to the aesthetics and value of your home. Look to the Wing Garage Door Sales and Service Showroom for garage doors, entry doors, storm doors, windows, gutters, siding, heritage stone, and awnings. Plus knowledgeable associates to help you create a distinct look for your home. Wing Garage Door, quality workmanship and service after the sale since 1973 on State Route 39 in Dover. More than just garage doors. Tom Hampshire Insurance Agency, your professional insurance experts representing the Motorist Insurance Group. Team with Tom Hampshire for all your insurance, auto, home, business, and life. Tom Hampshire Insurance Agency, winning your insurance trust for over 50 years. Professional service, professional products. Tom Hampshire Insurance Agency and the Motorist Insurance Group, your hometown insurance experts in the Tuscaroras Valley. Call today, 1-800-682-0145. The Inn at Northwood Village is a premier assisted living residence. Each private suite is designed to offer the optimum comfort, security, and privacy. Personalized services include a 24-hour on-site licensed nurse, three full meals daily, cable TV, utilities, daily social events, and weekly housekeeping. Our caring professional team provides the best in senior assisted living care and services. Models of assisted and memory care suites are open. Call today to schedule a tour. The Inn at Northwood Village, where your family is our family. At Rent to Own, you'll find nice people helping you rent to own furniture, rent to own appliances, rent to own electronics, and rent to own computers. We've got nice stuff that nice people like you need. Check out our great rental prices. You'll never own any cheaper. And be sure to look for our monthly specials on needed items for your home. We have great deals on our huge selection of products. At Rent to Own, we'll help you make your next purchase a whole lot easier. Stop in today. It's halftime at Woody Hayes Quaker Stadium. The Dover Tornadoes on top, 28 to nothing against the new Philadelphia Quakers. It's the first National Bank Fan Show. And on the field right now, the Dover Tornado Marching Band.
All Out Boy released this next tune in 2013. Featuring our majorettes, it's My Songs Know What You Did in the Dark, Marching Tornado Style. Dover Tornado Marching Band performing here at halftime. Dover with the big halftime lead, and we'll return with more of our First National Bank halftime show after this on Big Time Sports. Looking for a dentist for you and your family? Someone you can trust with your smile? Someone that offers emergency service as well as tender, loving care? Well, it's Dr. Sean Moan and the Dover Dental Group. Give the Dover Dental Group a call at 330-343-8132 to schedule your appointment. Find Dover Dental at 129 West 2nd Street in Dover. You've known Peterman for years as the area's premier plumbing company. Now you'll know us as the area's number one heating and cooling company too. We serve as residential and commercial customers, and with our trained service technicians, fully stocked service trucks, and 24-hour service, why would you call anyone else? Peterman, the area's one-stop source for all your plumbing and heating and cooling needs. Call us today at 330-364-4497, or look us up online at petermanphc.com. If you think you can't afford new flooring, think again. Think you don't have time for shopping and installation? Think again. Visit One Stop Flooring next to the post office in downtown Dover. It's fast, friendly, and affordable. How affordable? The three-room special gives you up to 40 yards of new carpet with padding and installation for $426. Free in-home sample showings and estimates save you time and money. One Stop Flooring, quality flooring and expert installation at affordable prices. Call 330-364-4745. If you're looking for good food in a relaxed setting, then you need to try Malcutt's Tavern in Strasburg. Malcutt's Tavern features the very best in steaks, seafood, and pasta, and their pork chops are just fabulous. Treat yourself to something special. Take the short drive to Malcutt's Tavern in Strasburg. If it's good food you're looking for, we'll see you at Malcutt's Tavern in Strasburg. 719 South Booster Avenue in Strasburg, phone 330-878-7898. Weekend reservations suggested. At Dover Brake, they know a thing or two about brakes. After all, Dover Brake has been offering professional brake service since 1975. Be sure to visit their expanded showroom for a great selection of hard-to-find parts and accessories for your truck or commercial fleet. They offer free estimates and welcome commercial work, too. For professional brake service, see Paul and Robin McCoy and the crew at Dover Brake, Route 21 in Strasburg. Dover Brake is open six days a week. We're at halftime, Woody Hayes Quaker Stadium, the new Philadelphia Quakers trailing the Dover Tornadoes 28 to nothing. And on the field now, the new Philadelphia Quaker marching band.
Over to your left. We introduce you. Our saxophone section then prepared to perform for you. We're at halftime. New Philadelphia trailing the Dover Tornadoes, 28 to nothing. Dover scoring a couple of TDs in each quarter. Uh, Corey Contini has two of those touchdowns, an eight-yard run and a 38-yard punt return. Alex Bowman scored on a one-yard run. And Laughlin, right before the half, caught a 15-yard touchdown pass from Mamarella. Time for us to take a look at the first National Mike halftime report. And here's Bruce Witter. And you can see Dover, you know, pretty much dominating 28 nothing rushing yards for Dover 69 and Dover's defense has held that Quaker running game to only 32 yards rushing passing Mamarella has been on spot all night long 175 yards New Philadelphia 57 first downs 12 Dover five for the Quakers very few penalties pretty clean game two for 20 for the Tornadoes no penalties on the Quakers and there's been no turnovers so far no in turnovers in this lousy weather now that's that's been some key but I think the big thing about this is Dover's dominating all three phases of the game Matt special teams offense defense they've done some outstanding things in all phases and they're on top 28 to nothing, looking for their eighth victory of the year. We'll be back with the uh, second half action right after this on Big Time Sports. Do you enjoy the outdoors? Ever dream of owning a cabin or vacation home? At Weaver Barns, we build buildings perfect for all those dreams. From our cabins to our majestic timber lodge, from small sheds to big barns, Weaver Barns has the perfect solution for you. Come see for yourself at our display lot, located on State Route 39 in Sugar Creek. Visit our website at weaverbarns.com or give us a call at 888-289-4940. Welcome to Mount Hope Fence, located in Mount Hope, Ohio, where you can add elegance to your outdoor space with one of our durable, low-maintenance pavilions, gazebos, or pergolas. Choose one from our showroom, or we can build to order. Add to your backyard escape with a stone fireplace or other landscape ideas. More than just fence, we're about the full line of outdoor living products. All of our products come with a lifetime warranty. Click online at mounthopefence.com or visit our showroom at 7102 County Road 77. Mount Hope Fence. We've got the inside on the outdoors. If you want to make your business successful for years to come, then you need to partner with Graphic Publications and our Bluefoot Digital products. Our customers receive a strategic marketing plan in both digital and print media that can include website design, hosting and content creation, interactive mobile apps, videos and graphic design. For the past 40 years, Graphic Publications has been helping businesses grow with our innovative marketing solutions that enable you to reach and exceed your goals. Contact Graphic Publications at 888-674-1010. Make your vehicle last longer and run better. Fix it with parts from Harrison Napa Auto Parts in Sugar Creek. 
With over 20,000 parts in stock, our ASC certified staff will get you the right part right away and get your vehicle running. Order your part online and pick it up. Just log on to NapaOnline.com. Call us at 330-852-4671 or visit us at Harrison Napa Auto Parts, 793 Dover Road in Sugar Creek. Get your car running smooth with Harrison Napa Auto Parts. Shook Auto is the largest independent vehicle sales company in the area. With over 300 vehicles in stock ranging from $1,000 to $30,000 and everywhere in between. Shook Auto employs a full staff of ASE certified technicians. They service what they sell. Shook Auto has two locations. 1633 Steel Hill Road and 205 South Broadway in New Philadelphia. Online at ShookAuto.com. Well, we're getting ready for the start of the third quarter of play and the Dover Tornadoes on top 28 to nothing against rival New Philadelphia. The Quakers a winner in this ball game and tripled overtime last year. But Dover's won 17 of the last 18 meetings and they're trying to tack on another victory tonight and improve their playoff position. Ranked second or third right now in their uh, computer region. It's the Dr. Kurt Guerin kickoff. To begin the third quarter of play, Dover with a big lead and they'll get the ball first. It's a squib kick. Scramble for it, but Let's see, New Philadelphia comes up with the football. How about that? First turnover of the game, Matt, and it comes at a very opportune time for New Philadelphia because they need points and they need a lot of them. They uh, untangle the pile and the uh, New Philadelphia Quakers create the turnover by Kicking it short and hard, and it will be New Philadelphia football. Bittekoffer is your quarterback. He wants to throw. Strong rush, and he sacked. Bittekoffer. Didn't get a chance to look downfield before Jake Armstrong was on top of him. Yeah, good rush coming right off the edge. Good job by Armstrong. Big sack for the Quakers. Going to bring up second and about 18. Quakers send two receivers to the left, one to the right. And a low snap from center. Bittekoffer can just fall on it. Tried to pick it up, but could not. And more lost yardage. And that has been a problem all night long for the new Philadelphia Quakers. On this wet, miserable night, have been the, uh, the snaps out of the shotgun. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> big turnover the Quakers get, and they've two plays, and they've gone backwards with both of them. Brings up about third and 22. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. And Bittekoffer runs a quarterback a draw straight up with the middle. Bittekoffer picks up good yardage, but we well short of the first down. It was Evan Snyder making the tackle for the Dover Tornadoes. See it on the replay. This is a quarter called quarterback draw play. See the lineman release downfield. Good run, good heads up. Picks up about... Uh, 10, 12, 14 yards, but it's going to bring up about a, a fourth and eight. And they are, they're in a the position they got to go for it, Matt. The ball is at the 43-yard line. Fourth down and eight. The Quakers to go for it. Strong rush. Bit of coffer over the middle, and it is incomplete. There is a strong rush, and Waltz, the intended receiver, he was well covered. I think it was, could have been an interference call, but the... Uh, Back judge didn't see it right in front. They ran into him. That might have been the interference by the uh, official. Big uh, defensive stop there for Dover, and man, this is just a uh, killer for New Philadelphia, not getting any points off that turnover. 
So Dover will go to work with a 28-point lead. Three receivers to the left, two to the right. And quarterback draw, Mamarella up the middle. Mamarella to the 50. Mamarella's got a first down. Mamarella on a nice run. Micah Crothers made the tackle. Quarterback draw, he just runs off. He waits to see where the linemen create a hole, and he gets on, you know, on the seam up through there. Picks up 12, 13 yards and a first down. And a Mamarella to throw. Incomplete. And I think some miscommunication there with Corey Contini. Man, Corey stopped and curled in, and Mamarella thought he was going to continue downfield. Yeah, there was incidental contact out here on the corner with uh, number 88. That's Mike Crowthers. And uh, kind of threw that play off all the time. And Second down and 10. Dover back at Crater Stadium next week hosting a playoff game. And the pass to Snyder. Snyder hauls it in on the near sideline. Snyder has first down to yardage. Hit that little hit that pass right in behind the zone coverage. You can see the zone coverage down on the bottom. Safety there. Good throw. Another first down. Guy been bowling on the tackle for New Philadelphia. It's first and ten of the Dover Tornadoes. Mamarella, the draw. Mamarella, ridden down by Verdon at about the 32 yard line. It'll bring her up second down. Called quarterback draw again. This is just, you know, it's not a scramble. It's a called draw. That particular time, uh, number nine for New Philadelphia, Jeff Verdon standing right there in the hole. Still pick up a couple yards. Second down for Dover in Quaker territory with the lead. Mamarella throwing the ball, and he has, who was it? Contini, first down. Same play again, Matt. You can see it, it'll come right at you. They get, the, get him right in that little gap right in there in the zone coverage down on the sideline. Good throw, good catch, another first down. Mamarella looking for him all the way. The score here not only makes it bad enough putting them down 35, but now you're into the continuous clock situation as well. Bowman is the running back for the Dover Tornadoes. Beside Mamarella, he'll get the handoff. Bowman breaks a couple of the tackles, and Bowman inside the five to the two-yard line. First down and goal to go. The tackle made by Tyler Carter. Good job by that offensive line. Look at that push up front there. Great hole they create. Bowman running hard downhill. And quickly, they run a quick play. Dover picking up the tempo. And he's just short of the first, or just short of the goal line. It'll be second down and goal to go for the Tornadoes. And now the clock has stopped as they untangle the pile. Yeah. They were stuck together there. Too close for comfort there. First and goal from inside to one, or not second and goal from inside to one. They're in the spread. Mamarella will keep it, and Mamarella will take it into the end zone. Touchdown. And the Dover Tornadoes in command, big time, 34 to nothing. Weaver Burns replay. Just power, single wing power play. 
Block it solid up front. Dover's offensive line has just done a great job tonight. I, you, you can't say enough about what they've done keeping Mamarella upright when he's in a passing situation. And the running backs have had a lot of running room tonight. The Gideo will kick the extra point for the Dover Tornadoes at the band shell end of Quaker Stadium. And the kick is a wobbly one, and it is no good. Looked like the uh, snap from center was mishandled there a little bit. And the Dover Tornadoes have a 34 to nothing lead. Lisa Hoy State Farm providing insurance and financial services, including retirement planning, life, auto, and fire insurance, health insurance, banking services. When you're ready, the Lisa Hoy Agency is here to help you with your insurance and financial needs. The agency has a variety of products and services that can help you meet all your needs and your budget. Give us a call. The Lisa Hoy State Farm Insurance and Financial Services Agency. And now the Dover Tornadoes will have the advantage of the running clock. Eight plays, 58 yards, Matt. Most of their long score, their drives have been in the 50-yard category, except that one right before halftime when they went 92 yards. And the line drive kick will scoot into the end zone, and the Quakers will take over first down and 10 at the 20-yard line. From suits to work boots, try Miller Clothing and Shoes in downtown New Philadelphia. Marty Miller as a team of all-stars like Hager, Lee, and Wrangler Jeans. For your feet, it's Hush Puppy and Red Wing Shoes. And to complete your wardrobe, it's Carhartt, Van Houston, and Arrow. The best is at Miller Clothing and Shoes. See Miller Clothing and Shoes today. Keep your socks high, your powder dry, and give Marty Miller a try. You can see we're in a continuous clock situation now, Matt. Hand off to Angel, and Angel nothing doing gang tackled by a whole bunch of Dover tornadoes led by Alex Bowman low snap hard to handle but low snap or not there's a lot of white jerseys standing around waiting there's a lot of giddy up in the white jerseys right now and a lot of walking around with heads hanging in the black jerseys Jake Armstrong leading the defensive charge on that play for the Dover tornadoes Lead 34 to nothing. And a bit of coffer. On the draw. Bit of coffer running up the middle. And bit of coffer wrapped up at the 25 yard line. Braden Eubel making the tackle for Dover. Called draw play, like you said, Matt. Pick up the linebacker with the running back. Picks up good yardage. Still going to be about third down and four. Another third down situation for the Quakers. They've seen a lot of these tonight and haven't, you know, made good on many of them. This is Bittacoffer to throw, and it is nearly picked off. A little hitch pattern once again, Dover defense, man to man defense out there. It's hard to throw this pa pass. Caleb Scepter. Looked like he was there on the defense. Yep. Knocked it up into the air, and it'll be Bittacoffer to pump the ball away for New Philadelphia. Great field position coming up for Tornadoes again. Yep, there is some movement on the left side of the New Philadelphia line, and that will... Push the ball back uh, five yards here. It's been a fairly clean played game. F very few penalties. Just the one turnover on the uh, kick to start the second half. So, And Bittekoffer boots it away. Fairly low kick taken by Contini. And Contini goes down at the 38-yard line. Good coverage that time by the Quakers. Yeah, that was a fairly low kick. You'd think he'd have a return opportunity, but they got down there in a hurry. 
For the best pizza, pasta, and salads, be sure to try Pangrazio Pizza and Spaghetti House. Pangrazio's has two locations, downtown Dover and downtown Eurexville. Before or after the game, it's always delicious at Pangrazio Pizza and a Spaghetti House. Dine in, carry out. See you at Pangrazio soon. The Dover Tornadoes in the third quarter of play, leading 34 to nothing. We have a running clock, and the Tornadoes have dominated this game from start to finish. In the 111th meeting between Dover and New Philly, third oldest rivalry in the state of Ohio. Quarterback draw, Mamarella, picked up a yard or two. It'll be second down. What would you say, 111 years, third over, oldest rivalry in Ohio, only Maslin and Canton McKinley, and I think Sandusky and Fremont Ross are the only ones with longer running rivalries. I believe you are correct. Second down and nine. Amarella to throw, and it is incomplete. Oh, yeah, intercepted. intercepted. Number Waltz. 43. Mount Hope defense replay. Got a flag on the play. Hang on. Must be on uh, Dover. They're talking it over with Logan Guybe of the Quakers. A holding call against Dover. The penalties declined, and it will be Quaker ball on the turnover. Waltz with the interception. Second turnover of the game, both by Dover, and still have a 34-point lead. New Philadelphia takes over. First down and 10 on their own 48-yard line. And Bittekoffer to throw over the middle, and it is intercepted. How about that? Turnover for turnover. You can see Logan Trusher picks off the pass. Two consecutive plays, we've got interceptions. So three turnovers all coming here in the third quarter. And uh, number 22 for Dover, he got a lot of pressure. That was Jake Armstrong made uh, Bittekoffer throw it quick. Right there, you can see it. And threw it behind him, and Dover back in possession again. So Dover's got it first down and Chad on their own 37-yard line. And the handoff goes on the inside. Getting the carry is Drew Nolan. Drew Nolan playing in the running back position where we have seen a lot of Alex Bowman tonight. Rain continuing to fall. Been a steady rain all night long. Still quite a few people still here, though, even with the score 34 nothing. And less than ideal weather conditions. Nolan up the middle. Nolan stopped for a short game to about the 43-yard line. Dover's thing on this game now with the rest of the game is let's not get anybody hurt, get out of here, get ready for next week. They'll be playing at home in the playoffs. Top four teams get home games in the first round. And Dover will certainly be in the top four in all likelihood ranked second in the region. It is Mamarella to throw, and it is caught or not incomplete. Good hit. Evan Snyder hauled in the pass momentarily, but then was really popped, and they rule it an incomplete pass. Let's see who made the hit. That was a good defensive play. 
Yep, number 16. Guide. Yep. Yep, never got in a, uh, we're in a controlled situation where he had the ball and established running after the catch. So. New Philadelphia's going to need some help, a lot of help if they're going to get in the playoffs now. They need they were some ranked, things to yeah, happen. Ranked ninth in the region. Big Walnut from Sunbury was ahead of them. High kick. Carter on the return, bobbled it, goes down on the 18-yard line, and the Quakers will take over. First down and 10. New Philly, the six-game winning streak coming into this one. A couple of early losses, and then really got on a roll with what was coming into this year, a relatively inexperienced team. Now, there's a good number of seniors who are getting a lot of playing time, but that was a senior-dominated team that was so great uh, led by Jamal Johnson and company in the last couple of years. And there were not a lot of high expectations around the area from New Philadelphia this year. I mean, the program had high expectations, but this is a sweep around to the right side of my angel. And he's a thousand yard rusher this year, but couldn't find much running room that time. Yep, number 22 back in the backfield again. That was Jake Armstrong. He's, he's playing a strong, strong game on Yes, he is. We have played three at Woody Hayes Quaker Stadium and Dover in command on Big Time Sports. Since 1972, Taylor Insurance and Financial Services has been serving the Tuscarawas Valley with friendly and professional advice. With over 100 years of combined experience, Taylor Insurance and Financial Services offers the best in auto and home insurance, 401k rollovers, IRA transfers, and a full line of property and casualty coverage. With two locations to serve you, 4th Street Northwest in New Philadelphia and on 2nd Street in Coshocton, there's no need to look any further than Taylor Insurance and Financial Services. Walton's Auto and Glass has been a family-owned and operated automotive parts shop since the days of the Model T. Walton's carries auto parts and paint, as well as glass, for your every need, including tabletops, mirrors, shelves, windows, and frames. Walton specializes in replacement and repair of automotive, ATV, and residential glass, and takes pride in giving you OEM quality or better for your new or antique car. With a successful business since 1931, you know you can trust Walton's. Find them at 371 South Broadway in New Philadelphia. It's time to tailgate, and that means it's time for carryout buckets of delicious Manor chicken. Whether you're going to the game or just need a quick dinner for your family, choose the Manor restaurant in Strasburg. With their buckets of chicken and homemade sides, it's the easy way to enjoy a great meal before the game or anytime. The Manor is open six days a week, closed Mondays. For homemade flavor, Manor Optum, come on down for great food and fun. The Manor restaurant on North Worcester Avenue in Strasburg. Do you want a happy and healthy pet? Pets Place offers great service and the healthiest of dog and cat foods. We carry a wide range of all-natural dog chews, biscuits, and a huge selection of toys, a DIY pet wash, and all other pet needs. Pets Place offers a great selection of freshwater fish, small animal reptiles, and birds. So bring your pet to Pets Place, 118 Commercial Avenue Southwest in New Philadelphia, or check us out on the web at www.petsplace.com. Remodeling and improving your home are always in season. Bring your ideas to your showroom at Holmes Lumber Design Center, downtown Sugar Creek. Featuring craft-made kitchens and bath displays with custom countertops, plus Anderson and Atrium windows and Provia windows and doors. Rooftop shingle delivery of top shingle brands. Make a fun space with Azek and TimberTech decks. Excellent interior millwork from our own facility. Hardwood interior doors and stair railings. Improve your home. We can help at Holmes Lumber Design Center, downtown Sugar Creek. It's all about you. It's all about you. The more we know you and your financial goals, the more easily we can help you achieve them. Talk to us. Find out why so many of your neighbors come by and talk with our trained loan officers. Around here, it's all about you. First National Bank of Denison, member FDIC. It's all about you. We've played three 
in New Philadelphia. Dover continues to dominate in the Haas Body Shop game quarter recap. Yep, third quarter, once you, like you said, Matt, Dover dominated again. They only put six points on the board. Quarter that was kind of taken over. We had three turnovers in the quarter, but once again, New Philadelphia unable to move the football, and that was strictly due to Dover's defense. The one touchdown in the quarter was Merrick Mamarella, a one-yard run. The extra point kick was no good. Left for the score 34 to nothing as we head into the uh, fourth quarter of play. And it is second down and 12 for New Philadelphia as we begin the final quarter of play. And Bittekoffer to throw. Bittekoffer fires incomplete. And this could be a quick quarter in terms of uh, time off of the uh, yeah. clock. Even though it's an the incomplete pass. Day clock. And even though it's an incomplete pass, the clock's going to continue to run. The only time it stops is on change of possession, injuries, or out of bounds, I believe. And then they'll restart it. Bit of coffers under duress now. He's had a, had a tough night throwing the football. He's 3 of 15 on the night now. Looking again. It's caught by Boston Waltz. Boston Waltz out to the 26 yard line. Nice catch of there. Let's see it on our replay. You can see a lot of cushion by Dover, but that's fine. Keep everything in front of you. Don't let him hit a couple of long balls on you. Just make sure you make a good tackle, get him on the ground. Brings up fourth down. Going to force New Philadelphia into a punt situation deep in their own territory. Looked like Drew Moore made the, uh, made the tackle, and now the Quakers looking at fourth down at about three will punt the ball away. And it is Contini with a fair catch call. Contini hauls it in at about the 37-yard line. That was another kind of a line drive punt. And Contini did a good job of just fielding that punt on his shoulder. Yeah, Dover was in a safety-type punt return that time. They just wanted to make sure they didn't fake it. Uh, you know, hold the line up and then have Contini fair catcher because he's not going to have any help back there. So Dover will go to work offensively with a 34 to nothing lead here in the fourth quarter of play. And it is outstanding senior quarterback, Merrick Mamarella, at the helm of the Dover offense. Puts a man in motion. That is Contini. He takes the handoff, and Contini sweeping around the left side is knocked out of bounds. If you've got a job to do, but you don't have the tool or equipment to get it done, call Frontier Tool and Equipment Rental. Their experts will fix you up with the right tool to complete your job. Frontier Tool and Equipment Rental, located in Brightwood. Give them a call at 330-339-RENT. 339-7. Three, six, eight. Second down and nine for the Dover Tornadoes. Sweeping. There. Nope. Zone replay that yep. time again. Matty pulled it out and uh, up the middle. We got a Dover player hurt, but you can see it right here. Reads the defensive end. Good fake by Mamarella, pulls it out up the middle, picks up about uh, six yards. Br bring a uh, third down here for the Dover Tornadoes. There's a break in the action with the injury. Dover 34 to nothing. Back after this on Big Time Sports. 
1397 in downtown Dover is T County's home for Buckeye Nation. Meet your friends and cheer on the Buckeyes on nine flat screen TVs. Martini 97 opens at noon on Saturdays for Buckeye games and college football. Pizza and beverage specials on game day make your celebration complete. And the party doesn't stop there. Every Friday and Saturday night, Martini 97 features the hottest area bands with no cover. Why pay just to get into your favorite hangout? Come to Martini 97 and the party's on us. Martini 97 on North Tuscarawas Avenue in downtown Dover. Home improvements make your life easier and add to the aesthetics and value of your home. Look to the Wing Garage Door Sales and Service Showroom for garage doors, entry doors, storm doors, windows, gutters, siding, heritage stone, and awnings. Plus knowledgeable associates to help you create a distinct look for your home. Wing Garage Door, quality workmanship and service after the sale since 1973 on State Route 39 in Dover. More than just garage doors. Let Designer Stone bring the beauty of natural stone into your home. Now granite from Designer Stone is affordable for your home. Granite is ideal for kitchen countertops, bathrooms and floors, and is elegant and unique in color and patterns. Make granite from Designer Stone the choice to beautify your home. Call Designer Stone today at 1-866-860-4747. The ultimate Medicare Advantage plan is here. AltCare's Primetime Health Plan is now offering a $0 monthly premium plan with prescription drug coverage and a silver and fit program at no extra cost. With Primetime, get local personalized service and an experienced team of advocates keeping your health care needs a top priority. Call Primetime Health Plan to register for a meeting or to learn more about the new $0 plan. Dumont Sporting Goods has been outfitting winning teams since 1977. Put Doug Clark and his experienced staff to work for your team. See them for school jackets, silk screening, and embroidery. Dumont is especially proud to be your exclusive area Russell Athletic Team Specialist. All of the name brands you love, close to home. That's Dumont Sporting Goods on Tuscross Avenue in downtown Dover. Team Specialist since 1977. Tell me, are you confident in your financial game plan? I'm Matt Ferris, President of Ferris Financial. If you're like most people, you've probably spent a lot of time talking about getting your financial affairs in order, but for some reason, the game plan has never come together. At Ferris Financial, we're here to help you solidify your personal, business, and estate planning goals so we can build a winning game plan together and help you achieve peace of mind. Call us at 330-321-1413. Ferris Financial, helping you plan, protect, and prosper. The injured player is Anthony Maselli of the Dover Tornadoes. He's being attended to by the training staff on the sidelines, and Dover looking at third down and about four here in the fourth quarter. Pass caught, and it looks like a first down on the reception by Shevin Javarzik. Bubble screen off the zone read. Little different wrinkle right here. See right there, bubble screen, lineman release. Good, Good block, block by right Snyder. there that got him the first yeah. down. First and 10 tornadoes at the 49 yard line in Quaker territory. Clock continues to run. And off up the middle, short gain for the Dover Tornadoes. As we we're saying, Dover will be in the playoffs next week. One of 224 playoff teams. About 30% of the schools now advance on to the playoffs. When this began back in 1972, there were a total of 12 teams in three divisions or three classes as they were called then a double a and triple a advanced to the playoffs and if i'm not mistaken new philly was one of those 12 in 1972. the year the playoffs began and again it is mamarella on the read play and mamarella close to a first down 
He's done a nice job with this. You can see right here, sticks it in there, pulls it out. The reed itself creates a huge hole a lot of times without the blocks, even though you need the blocks. And he's been picking up good yardage off that. It's third down at one now for the Tornadoes. So back in 1972, when only 12 teams made the playoffs, it was a really big deal just to get in. It's a big deal to get in now even. You know, it's, a, it's an exciting time, you know, for kids and so forth. And we just hope that even though New Philadelphia with the loss tonight, we hope some things can happen so that they can get in. Now we should have Dover in. Uh, the Garraway Pirates will be playing next week. Hopefully Indian Valley can get a break somewhere and they could get in. That would be a shame, you know, eight and two, two losses to two undefeated teams, and yeah. then they might not make it in. And it looks like the uh, Central Catholic Saints, Saints will be in the playoffs. They were ranked sixth in their region going into the action this weekend. Saints play tomorrow night right here at uh, Quaker Stadium. The game moved from an afternoon game at the Art Tyner Field to Quaker Stadium tomorrow evening. Uh, Saturday evening, as because the Central Catholic volleyball team playing the regional finals with a chance to make the state tournament at noon on Saturday. I think Ridgewood can still get in with a win tonight, possibly against Newcomerstown. Handoff is to Nolan, and Nolan is wrapped up with a line of scrimmage. May have lost a yard or so. Down to 520 to play in the contest, and Dover... Hanging on to the 34 to nothing lead here against the new Philly Quakers. And you just really, really have to be, you know, Coach Shift and the staff has to be pleased with the way Dover's played tonight and carry this momentum on into the playoffs now. I mean, they've just been solid. You know, they made a couple turnovers there in the third quarter. But, man, they've been solid all, all the way around, offensively, defensively, and special teams. Dover, a team that lost a couple of the games early to very good competition. Austin Town Fitch and Ashland play action pass over the head of Evan Snyder and incomplete. That'll bring up third down in 12 now. So the Dover Tornadoes... Uh, Playing an extremely tough schedule with the likes of Ashland and uh, Austin Town Fitch in there. They beat Canfield. Third down and 12. Dover taking as much time as possible between plays. Clock's under four minutes now. And Mamarella on the draw play. Mamarella dancing around, and Mamarella goes down at about the 38-yard line, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. And we have a flag down on the play. Talking. To, I don't know who they're talking to. No, well, it was uh, against Dover, and the penalty was declined. I don't know if we can pick it up here. Uh, right there, clear outside right at the end, right when he was on the ground. The penalty's declined. The play stands. It's fourth down and nine, and Abel will pump the ball away uh, for the Dover Tornadoes. Abel, nice boom and punt. Will sail out of the end zone. That thing went out the backside of the end zone on the fly. That yeah. was a heck of a kick. 45 yards, 55 with the end zone, almost 60 yards in the air. New Philadelphia will take over with 241 to play in the contest. We're talking about the uh, the playoffs began with 
three divisions, and now there's seven playoff divisions. 31% of the football-playing schools advance to the postseason, but you're right, Bruce, it's still a very special thing when a team makes the playoffs. It'll be second down now, short gain for Quakers going up with the middle. That was Kyle Angel on the carry. And that guy right down there to the left of you, Matt, he led a lot of teams into the playoffs up at Strasburg High School. That's a, you know, big thing whenever you can do that. It'll be second down. A minute 55 left in the contest. We'll be picking our Manor Restaurant Player of the Game at the conclusion of the contest tonight. And Angel on the run. Angel loose. Angel out to the 37-yard line before he's wrapped up by the Dover Tornadoes. You can see it here. Good block right there at the point of attack. Good run. Picks up good yardage and a first down. Angel making some people miss on that run. You can see why he gained over 1,000 yards on the year. Clock continuing to move down to a minute 17 to play. Dover defense has had him pretty much bottled up tonight. Dover defense has had pretty much everything bottled up tonight. Yeah, he never expected, you know, a, a whitewash, you know, tonight in this game, but I think it's going to happen. Bounce the snap back again. Verdon getting the carry up with the middle. Down to 48 seconds left. One more, one more snap, Matt, and 111th running will be in the books. It'll be second down and 10 for the Quakers. 34 to nothing, Dover. The clock winding down. And the Dover fans down in front of us rising to their feet. Bragging rights, ECOL championship, home game in the playoffs, and a six-game winning streak for Dover. Ten seconds left, and that will do it. The Dover Tornadoes knock off rival New Philadelphia 34 to nothing. On a rainy night at Woody Hayes Quaker Stadium, we'll begin our post-game activities right after this on the Sports Voice of the Valley. Yeah. Fuel economy, safety, and a great driving experience are three reasons to come to test drive a new Toyota at Ferris Toyota. Hi, this is Pat Ferris. Lease a new 2015 Corolla for just $139 a month, or a 2014 RAV4 for just $159 a month, or choose the 51 mile per gallon 2014 Prius for just $209 a month. Toyota is also featuring 0% financing for up to 60 months on 12 different models. Ferris Toyota on the Wabash in New Philadelphia. Would you like a zero monthly premium plan that includes prescription coverage and silver sneakers? Then a local Medicare Advantage plan from the Health Plan is right for you. For information on Health Plan Medicare Advantage plans, call 1-877-236-2290. Hours of operation are 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days a week. You must continue to pay your Medicare Part B premiums. The Health Plan, here for you, in your hometown since 1979. There are hospitals, there are health systems, but there's nothing quite like this. The Altman system means A-class care. All of the services and care you need together. All of the most expert caregivers together. All of this joins together and together with you to lead our community to improved health. Welcome to the shape of advanced health care. At Altman, healthier together. Woods Tall Timber Resort is a vacation that's close to home. The Seven Acre Lake is the focal point of the resort with camping May through October. Splash away your summer days at the beach and in the fall enjoy brilliant colors from your own private cottage. Whether you enjoy primitive camping or the amenities of home, Woods Tall Timber Resort has it all. Luxurious cottages feature equipped kitchens, a full bathroom and room for eight guests. The resort includes a clubhouse, concession stand, bait shop, shower house and laundromat. And the recreation never ends. Enjoy 
Enjoy summer fun on water slides, inflatable trampolines, paddle boats, and electric boats, plus house rentals, fishing, game room, playground, woodpecker par three golf, and miniature golf, and of course, hiking trails. And now Woods Tall Timber Resort has zip lines. It's the best value around for this exciting way to fly. Rides start at just $15. Small zips and kitty zips are also available. And the Lake House Lodge can accommodate your party, reception, reunion, or event. Check out all of the fun online at woodstalltimberlake.com. Are things improving in Tuscarawas County? Yes, they are. This is Carrie Metzger, your county commissioner. Our local economy is better. We have one of the lowest unemployment rates in Ohio, but we've got so much more to do. My opponent has made lots of big, costly promises and false attacks, but my focus has been on protecting your tax dollars, getting more jobs here, and being fiscally conservative. There is no need to take a risk when my proven record of performance makes the difference. Look at my three-point Metzger economic action plan to see what I want to do for the future. With your vote for Metzger, I pledge 100% of my efforts for more jobs and protecting your tax dollars. Let's work together to make this an even better community to live, work, and raise a family. Thank you for your support and confidence. This is paid for by Citizens for Metzger to encourage your vote for County Commissioner Carrie Metzger. The 111th battle between Dover and New Philadelphia will go to the Dover Tornadoes. They beat the Quakers by a final count of 34 to nothing. They Dominated from start to finish. Corey Contini, an eight-yard run in the first quarter. Bowman, a one-yard run. In the second quarter, it was Contini on a 38-yard punt return. Laughlin caught a 15-yard pass from Mamarella. Mamarella scored on a one-yard run in the third quarter. A play 34 to nothing. The Dover Tornadoes dominating the new Philadelphia Quakers on your Ferris wrap-up show. And to take a look at some of the uh, final statistics in the contest. Once again, here's Bruce. And the stats mirror the score, Matt. Tornadoes, 126 yards rushing. Their defense outstanding tonight, hold, holding Wyatt Angel in the Quaker rushing game to 64 yards. 210 yards passing by Merrick Mamarella, 66 for the Quakers. First downs, 17, New Philadelphia, 6. Clean game tonight, two for 20 yards and penalties for Dover, one for five. We had three turnovers. They all came in the third quarter. Tornadoes turned it over on a fumble and an interception for two, and the Quakers turned it over one time. And the Dover Tornadoes, eight and two on the year, heading for a home playoff game against uh, an opponent to be determined. And the new Philadelphia Quakers, 7-3, and three, and they will uh, be searching the Internet for scores to find out whether or not they can sneak into the playoffs. Your Ferris uh, Financial, it pays to plan play of the game. It is a really nifty 38-yard punt return for a touchdown by Corey Contini. They get some good blocks down the sideline, untouched into the end zone. And Corey Contini is our Manor Restaurant player of the game. Contini, 10 catches, 110 yards receiving, two touchdowns, one rushing, one receiving, or one uh, rushing, and one on the punt return, and uh, 110 yards receiving. He carried the ball a couple of times, too. There's his uh, touchdown run into the end zone. So Corey Contini is our Manor Restaurant player of the game this evening. Well, I think that'll wrap things up. Uh, Ron Hurst, thanks for uh, his insights and statistics. Bruce Witter, this is Matt Ritzer, wishing you a very pleasant good evening.